Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the paint bucket effect, formerly known as the color fill effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. I dragged out my logo onto this composition, but I did not convert it to a shape or do any preparation in order to use the paint bucket effect. To add the paint bucket effect, I'm gonna go up to the effects and presets panel. And if you don't see that, you're gonna to go to the window menu and check effects and presets. I'm gonna click in the search field and just start typing out paint. P-A-I-N-T, under effects, you will see paint bucket. I'm just gonna click and drag it right onto my logo layer. Now it immediately turns to the default red. And to customize the effect, just go to the effect controls. To change the color, I can come down to the color property. I can click on the color swatch, pick a new color in the picker, or I can use the eyedropper tool and just select a new color. And to select a specific part of your graphic or your footage that you want to recolor, you're gonna use this fill point property. Just click on this little color control icon. You'll see those crosshairs. And now you just click on any area of your graphic or footage that you want to recolor using the paint bucket tool. So if I want to color this M, I'm just gonna click inside. And now I can use the color swatch here to pick a new color for the inside M. And you can just click on the color point control and drag it around and you're gonna see it's going to recolor any area where you have that color point control. Pretty cool. I'm gonna drag this back inside the M. I'm gonna change it to my blue color. Maybe you don't want to fill in the color, but you just want to add a stroke outline around something. Well, you can come down to the stroke property. I'll change it from anti-alias to stroke. I can change the stroke width, the color, and there's other properties to experiment with. So I recommend you just go through and play around with this paint bucket effect. And for each additional area that you want to change the color, all you need to do is just duplicate the paint bucket effect. To duplicate the paint bucket effect, I'll select it in the effect controls panel. I can right click and choose duplicate or use the must know keyboard shortcut command or control D. Then I'll go to the fill point. I'll click on the color control and I'll choose what area I want to recolor. Maybe I just want to do this outer outline. I'll just click. And now if I want to change the orange color, I'm just going to duplicate the paint bucket effect again by right clicking. I'll choose duplicate. I'll click on the fill point color control. I'll select that orange. Then I'll use the eyedropper tool to select a new color. Now I have three different instances of the paint bucket effect. I have full control over the color of this graphic along with a bunch of other properties to get some really unique looks. Here I have this character of me and maybe I just wanna change the hair color on the top. So I'm gonna to go to the paint bucket effect, drag it onto the character. I'll go to the fill point, click on the color control, and I'm gonna select the hair. It selected everything, but I only wanted the top. So I can just go to the tolerance. This is gonna control how much of the area gets covered. So I'm just gonna lower the tolerance until it colors in the parts that I want. And if I wanna change the colors for all different parts of this character, I'm gonna do just like we did before, duplicate the paint bucket effect, go to the fill point, choose where I want to change the color, and just change anything that I want. So if you find yourself wanting to recolor specific parts of your footage in Adobe After Effects, look for the paint bucket effect similar to the one you'll find in Adobe Photoshop. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.